Dan, the side of his family, they're making apple pie. Apple pie? That's right. For those who don't know, we are eating our way through this book, 1,000 Foods to Eat Before You Die. And today, the most American dessert, apple pie. You guys well, got a couple different types of apples? We're not going to use the apples just yet in this step, but we do. We have Donegal and we have Honeycrisp. Honeycrisp is one of our favorite just snacking apples. And the recipe good. we're going to use is actually the author, Mimi Sheraton. She put in this book a recipe for apple pie with cheddar cheese crust. We've never done a no. cheddar cheese crust I've before. I've heard about having an apple pie with a slice of cheese on top. Never would I ever choose that. But this is shredded cheddar cheese in the homemade pastry crust. We're going to give it a try. I'm expanding my horizons. We'll see. Also, it's Thanksgiving Eve here in America. So we are going to take this pie to our Thanksgiving gathering, which should be great to get some other opinions besides just ours. So for the cheese, we've got a Bandon Organ aged cheddar from Face Rock Creamery. We do, we wanted a white cheddar or a white sharp cheddar because I think that's for the look. You don't want a lot of uh, bright yellow flecks in your crust. So, you know, cause we're gonna be using all purpose flour. So we need to grate the cheese. This is about six and a half ounces. We only need four. So me and Miles are gonna use, we're gonna first try to use the fine side on our box grater and we're gonna see how that works. Miles the Grater Miller. Watch those fingies. This is all I do. Well, we gotta grate that whole thing. We have a food processor, but it's not necessarily gonna do the job, I don't think. All right, there's our cheddar all chopped up and uh, or grated. And now we're gonna cut some butter. Yes, I bought unsalted butter and it said half sticks. I didn't really think about it, but look how cute these are. <laughs> They're little four ounce sticks. So we need two and we want um, kind of, I don't wanna say like tiny squares, but we do wanna Cut this up a little so it's easier for it to start to blend and incorporate with the flour. All right, now we're adding flour into the food processor. No, oh, why are you doing that? Because I need one you and You already two measured it? Cup. I measured for the whole recipe, but I didn't. Always read all the steps before you start and sift it along with the salt and mace. Mace. It's like a pepper. Here it is. Mice. It's the outside of a nut, remember? We had a nice man explain that to us at the store. The cheese is in. The cubed or butter's going in. And we're gonna put this lid on and see what happens. We did kind of make a mess with that sifting. All right. We wanted to. Serious business. All right. I'd say that's pretty good. We haven't added any liquid, but you can see if I pinch it, it gets a little bit of a dough consistency and it looks a little bit like a cornmeal. So I might do like one more pulse and then we'll go to the. Adding the water. Now we're adding what? Sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. We have some ice water here. I had some ice floating in here. It's almost melted, but it's very cold. I'm going to do two tablespoons at a time. We want this dough to pull away from the sides and start to form a ball. Are you ready? That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. We want it to form a ball. Wow. 
kind of impresses myself. So it is sticky, but we're not gonna go straight to the rolling pin, right? Okay, what are you gonna do with that dough? I'm gonna make two balls. Happened Top to crust, bottom crust. Happened to your helper. I know, he's out of here. So we want, we're gonna be chilling this dough, correct? Mm -hmm. So we just want to get a little bit easy to handle. I'm gonna do just a couple turns. We don't wanna handle it too much. This is a process I'm familiar with, with sugar cookie dough. When we do sugar cookie cutouts, we always want to make these kind of discs and chill. So I'm hoping that this is the right consistency. It definitely made a clean exit from the food processor, so that's always a good sign. All right, we're gonna chill that for a few hours. All right, Elliot, you've got the apple core peeler. Is that good or a little bit farther? I think that's good. Right, give it a whirl. Mm -hmm. There was another video. What was it that we made that we had this? Oh yeah, last year. Oh wait, you sliced it by accident. Oh wait, he did a he did a spiral. Yeah, Miles, you gonna do one? Other way. Oh, sorry. That's all right. No. Go ahead. Oh, don't help me. I'm, I'm not trying to help you. Can I put it in the water? Mm-hmm. Whoa, the suction came off. Go ahead. It's not supposed to be the Zard honey, I'm sorry. You got it. No, Talon gets to do one. Oh, that's a honey crisp, I can tell. Keep going. Uh-oh, it's okay, go ahead, I'll catch. Keep going. Put so this is like a water. pretty, pretty cool contraption. Um, thanks to Jason's sister, Elizabeth. Yes, sorry. I, what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna cut them half. And look, it said one quarter to one eighth. And this is so, so great. I mean, I thought I was gonna have to peel with a peeler and then try to slice them thin. This is excellent. All right, there they are all cut up. Looks so good. Smells good. I'm doing a pinch of salt. I'm gonna add that to the nutmeg. Ooh. We know we have salt in the crust. So I'm adding the nutmeg and the cinnamon. And I'm gonna add sugar. Feels like a lot of sugar, but again, it's a dessert. And then we've got that lemon juice that these have been setting in. I'm trying to be really careful not to break them. There might be a few casualties, but here we are. If you've been watching us, you might have seen me with some dough buckles in the past. We've had some mixed reviews with making um, rolling out dough. It can be it can be difficult, but this feels good to me. It's been chilling in the fridge for a couple hours and it's been resting here for about 10 minutes. So this is my pie pan. That's lovely. And we're gonna try to um, roll this out to about 11 inches so that we can have some overhang. Okay, now who's gonna think there's cheese in here? I certainly wouldn't. This is a beautiful crust. It's rolling out really easily. I don't know what I'm gonna think when it comes time to taste. That is a little bit
bit scary to me to have fruit with my cheese. That's one of the things that my family teases me about. I don't like chocolate covered strawberries. I don't like orange with my chocolate cakes. And so we're gonna have to check this out. So I, I went a little bit over, but I think the idea here, I'm gonna drape this in. How do you feel the size is, Jason? Maybe a tiny bit, a tiny bit more. <laughs> Okay, just did a couple more strokes with the rolling pin. This looks really good. We want that overhang so we can tuck when we do the top crest. And this is a recipe which does not suggest blind baking or anything like that. So the, the wet apples are gonna go right in. You're just lining the bottom with the I'm gonna apples. have a, as, um, Close to covered bottom as possible. <laughs> Miles wants to eat them. I don't blame you. Can I try? Yeah, you can. You can eat one. I want to have a broken one. Okay. You like it? I would. I would have it without a pie. Mm, <laughs> you would have it without a pie. Cinnamon sugar apples. Yum. With a little lemon. Okay, let's get one right in here. Let's see more good here. Yeah, so then you gotta layer on the bottom. Then what are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna give a little toss again because there's all this nice liquid. To be honest, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to incorporate all this liquid, but probably not. What I'm gonna do is I'm so just it's gonna probably full of the cinnamon sugar. Is the I problem. know. Well, no, don't don't put, don't put the one on the side. What's the liquid from? Just the apples? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's the, it's the juiciness. <laughs> the juiciness. There you go. And the, yeah, I think we do want it. We're gonna. Um, oh yeah, I, th I definitely think we wanted that. There wasn't a lot of lemon juice. There was probably about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Yeah, that's a perfect. Stop eating now, stinker. That looks like a good. Filling, not too overfilled where the crust is going to have an issue. We need to roll out the other crust and then there's one more step before we seal it. Whoa! I'm fitting the crust over. And what I need to do is kind of, I don't know if I start trimming or if I start crimping first. Just. Trimming, yep, yeah. okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> I just had to double check, I was a little nervous. So I wanna trim this off so it's even, and then I'm gonna crimp mm -hmm. the edges around the pan with a fork in a few minutes. Did you say you made a pie when you were a kid? Oh, I did. Not really a kid, probably a teenager. Thought I was a little big for my britches and my mom had an old good housekeeping. Actually, we have it in the cupboard there, but uh, um, good housekeeping cookbook and it had apple pie recipe and I made it once for my family at a holiday and then I became the pie baker for a few years, which is kind of cute because it wasn't, uh, <laughs> it wasn't something my mother was necessarily skilled in, but they love to encourage me and that is what counts. I think you and I made a blueberry pie when we were dating. <laughs> we did, we did, that's a good memory. So before we put the crust together, we're gonna sprinkle some bits of butter in. Crimping it with a fork? Yeah, I'm just doing a really kind of rustic crimp. I've done other ones before where you kind of use your knuckle or you, there's pans that have the ridges, but. Love to hear from our viewers. What is your favorite way to get these crust sealed? Right? There's a lot of ways to do it. This is, this recipe to me seems kind of Vintage, if you will, and so I like this for this. Can I please try it? You want to try to do it? Yeah. Okay. It's fun. It looks fun. It is kind of 
on, but I don't want you to poke. I don't want you to poke it. I want you to just hold me. Let me help you for the first one. Okay. It doesn't have to get wet every time. I don't want you to poke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to do it right next to the other one, okay? Mm, there you go. That's good. Oops. No, it's fine. Oops. Okay. It's my fault because I already did all that. Got a problem. All right, Nicole, you got a little bit of an art project there. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I saw it online. I thought maybe we're going to do a little scoring here on these guys. And then I'm going to do a vent. We got to get this guy in the oven. So we are bringing this to our. Thanksgiving I know. family. What do you think, Miles? Do you like my turkey? Yeah. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. No one's getting dinner at a Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Where'd you learn that? That's cool? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the course. recipe did not say to vent it, but I have had some pie experience, so I'm going to go ahead and do some small vents. And then I have this perfect crust shield and I am going to use it because I know that sometimes ovens run hot. I really don't want my beautiful crust to get too brown. So this will sit gently on top and we'll take it off at the end. Of All right. In the oven it goes for 15 minutes at 425. All right. Well, I took my crust saver off. Oh, look at my little turkey. It's a bit pale still. I don't know if we should go back in for some more or go ahead and do the egg wash. I feel like we might be good to do the egg wash now. We don't want that overdone crust. Here I have one egg yolk and two tablespoons of milk. Just getting that incorporated real quick. I'm trying not to get any chunks here, but we want to brush this. This is new to me. I've definitely done egg washes before. I like to make chicken pot pies and I'll do an egg wash on the crust, but I usually do it when the crust is raw. Uh oh, my turkey's about to lose one of its wings. So this is different to me to do it at this step. So I'll be interested to see how it fares. The idea is that we want to get a nice glossy pastry. Sprinkle liberally with sugar. Go for it. My kids tried to put their little fingers in here and eat that sugar, but I've got it. All right, back in for maybe another 10 minutes. I'm choosing to put my pie saver back on for at least the first five. Yeah. All right. I think we're done. I see Ooh, juices. It's dripping. I should have put a should have put a tray under, but here's a little bit of my fear that I had, which was the pooling of the egg wash. Got a little bit of egg on there, which I might try to brush around just a bit but looks beautiful it smells so good and the thing that's strange is that a big a big smell that's coming is like a cheesy smell like we've got some kind of cheese biscuits uh, so that's interesting to me my turkey fared okay I think he needs his eyes to be uh, reset a little bit but um so warm apple pie would be delicious, but we are going to <laughs> bring this to Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. See you guys then. All right, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We got our apple pie with the cheddar crust. My little turkey survived mostly, but it's going down now. So I'm gonna cut some slices. We're all excited to give it a taste, I think. We got Grandma and Grandpa here. Aunt Elizabeth. There's Kendrick. You may have seen some of Kendrick and Jonah on some of our old videos. 
British biscuits, Oreos. This is the last sugary biscuit that I'm gonna eat, and then I'm done. It's Kendrick's <laughs> famous line. Whoa, that's a big slice. All right, you guys are gonna try some yeah. apple pie. Yeah. So I've got apple and crust here. Only apple. Just tastes like a regular apple pie. I was expecting there to be a lot more cheese in the dough and crust, but not much of a difference to me. It's yummy. You like it? Yeah. Can you like taste it. the cheese? No. No? Uh, wow. I taste really good apples. And dough. It's a good apple pie, though. This is one of the best apple pies I've had, and I can taste the cheese. You can? It's really good. Isn't it like the only apple pie you've ever had? No. Well, I think that was a delicious <laughs> apple pie. I really like the spices on there. Um, the apples were cooked really to perfection, not too mushy, not really that crispy. Just a great apple pie. And the crust, first time I've ever had the cheese crust, but man, that was so good to me. I really loved it. And uh, it is Thanksgiving, and we're so thankful for all you viewers. And uh, have a happy Thanksgiving from America. Well, you know, I was pleasantly surprised by this. I, I thought the cheese... Okay, I love cheese. I thought the cheese with the apples might not be my favorite. It's pretty mild. It makes for a really flaky crust. There's some good depth of flavor there. I, um, I'm really full. <laughs> so I'm not really that jazzed about eating dessert right now after such a great meal. But um, I'm really happy that we got to try this and share it with our family. And I definitely think that's a great recipe. And, you know, sometimes you can be intimidated making pie crust from scratch. But I think it's worth it. I think people should do it. Right. That was a fantastic apple pie. It's super smooth uh, on the inside. I got the hint of cheese towards the, the outside of the crust. Never tasted it before like this. Really good. Really good. Great job. Happy Thanksgiving. All right, guys. Any final thoughts? Yes. It's Thanksgiving, right? Anything you're thankful for this year? Uh, all you viewers, subscribers, views, and yeah. Um, it was good. Uh, couldn't exactly, I couldn't exactly really taste the taste of the cheese because the apple was overpowering. Um, but uh, other than that, yeah, it was really good. You would have it again? Yeah. yeah. Any final thoughts, boys? Yeah. Um, Let's hear it. Um, I think it was really good. When I heard the impression cheese apple pie, I thought that was disgusting. Because, I mean, I did not want apple pie with cheese. But um, it was really good. The crust is when I chase, taste the cheese. Um, and I like... I don't know what was on those apple cinnamon. I like the cinnamon on the apples. Um, and I think it was really good. Nice. Um, it was really good. My favorite part was the apples. I didn't really like the cheese in the crust. All right. But it was really good. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks we are thankful watching. for all of our new subscribers this year. Cool. Until next time. Bye. See you later. Happy Thanksgiving!